that's MS. That is multiple sclerosis right there. All right. That's a perfect example of MS. Those are the nerves on our brains with people with MS. So if you know somebody with MS, that's likely what they're existing in at that very moment. Like we bumped our head and there's a low current hooked up and there's like something crawling around on the surface of our brains. Please include disabled people. Inclusiveness is important. You want to make a difference in somebody's life who has MS, hemochromatosis, costochondritis, narcolepsy. I have those, fibromyalgia, you name it. Doesn't matter what it is. Include those people so that they can have a good day. Okay? So it always feels like you have two little electrical cords hooked up to your head and it has a really low wattage, low wattage like hum just going into your brain all the time. Now imagine that's all the time and there's like this low wattage wires hooked up to your brain that that current is just low current is going through your brain all the time. So what's this like? Everybody's MS is different. Okay, that's what I read, that's what I see. Um, I realize now at this point that people with MS see people with MS differently. I think we can ID each other pretty good. Um, so what's this like? Why am I sitting here like this? I just wanted to show something that I don't think I've seen before. What's this like, all right? First of all, this whole side of my leg right now is burning like hell. It's like somebody has a curling iron or a hot iron just laying there against it. But at the same time, you can't feel it. I know it doesn't make any sense, right? You know when your feet get too cold in the winter time, your feet get too cold and you can't feel them, your toes get too cold, you can't feel them, but they hurt. That's what that's like. Okay, so it's my left leg, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, over the past six months, I've had some pains in my left leg periodically. Half the time, I'm too tired to even use my left leg to say, um, do any, most of my days comprise getting from my chair to make myself something to eat, going to the can, and going to bed. But, um, what's this like? So I can stand upright, but I don't know if I'm going to fall down. I have no idea when or where. It don't matter. Your brain just clicks off. So I'll explain that to you. Imagine there's a hundred little alien parasites, all right? And they're landed on your brain. And they're digging in. They're setting up camp. They're making it their home all the time. Right now I'm like, okay? So we've all hit our heads before, right? When you're walking along, that initial shock, when you first bump your head, that initial shock, that first like 20, 30 seconds of when you hit your head and you're like, whoa, that's how this feels every minute. Like you just hit your head. It's not painful. Okay, but it's that, like you just got bumped, or over here, like this right here in my eye. The optical nerves are under attack by the immune system. The myelin protective coating is. And so, your telephone wires, your electrical wires, they have a protective coating on them. If that coating wears off, if it deteriorates, okay, these wires and cables on these telephone poles, they lose their protective coating. They have trouble getting the messages and the signals to your house or your internet or your electric. It gets severed. It loses connection. 
And so by the immune system attacking the myelin on the nerves of our brain, it's essentially doing the same thing. That's your example. That's your analogy. This is such a good example. That's MS. That is multiple sclerosis right there. All right? That's a perfect example of MS. Those are the nerves on our brains with people with MS. And so, what happens? The signals that are going to my leg, to my hands, to my mouth, it's now in slow motion because the signal's not getting there fast enough. In some cases, it's severed. In some cases, it's severed for one minute and the next minute, it's not severed. One minute, the, the message sends to my leg or my eye, and the next minute, the message doesn't send, which means when I stand up and I'm trying to go through the world, imagine that electrical current makes you feel when you're moving in motion, you're going forward. This is underwater. Okay? So you're underwater, everything, it's like the air is thick and it's not from the humidity. I'm just saying everything is like slowed down just a little bit. It's like you guys are on regular time, but our clocks are like a second, three seconds behind. So we're going through the world like it's underwater. And it's all because of those severed connections. The exposed nerves on the brain give us that current going through water. The feeling that there's Martians landing on the surfaces of our brains is all due to that one thing that I showed you. That's MS. We're not fine. We're dying. Most of us, most of us are living sucky lives. Okay? Can't be mobile. Can't get out and do the things that we want to do. Include them in your activities. There's a lot I'd love to do, but I cannot take my trash out once a couple times a month. So that's what that's all about. And so I hope that that demonstrated to you guys what MS is, how it affects us, why it affects us. Do my best. You guys, do your best, always. And if you can't, have some ice cream. Be well, my friends. Have a safe day. Awesome. Warlord McGillicuddy, over and out. Multiple sclerosis is a disease that impacts the brain and spinal cord, which make up the central nervous system that controls everything we do, whether it's taking a physical step or solving a complex problem. The exact cause of MS is unknown, but we do know that something triggers the immune system to attack the brain and spinal cord. The resulting damage to myelin that insulates wire-like nerve fibers is a disruption of signals to and from the brain. This interruption of communication signals causes unpredictable symptoms such as numbness, tingling, mood changes, memory problems, pain, fatigue, blindness, or paralysis. Everyone's experience with MS is different, and these losses may be temporary or long-lasting. Most people initially have relapsing remitting MS, where they experience attacks of new symptoms followed by periods of time when those symptoms go away partially or completely. Others experience gradual and ongoing loss of function without distinct attacks, which is known as progressive MS. MS can be difficult to diagnose, but once a diagnosis is confirmed by a neurologist who is knowledgeable about MS, there are disease-modifying therapies for reducing attacks and slowing down the damage. Growing evidence suggests that early and ongoing treatment with a disease-modifying therapy is an important defense against future attacks. There are also treatment strategies to address some MS symptoms. Options are still limited for slowing down or stopping progressive MS. Worldwide research is accelerating the discovery of how to slow down or even stop progressive MS, how to repair nervous system damage and restore function, 
wellness strategies such as exercise and diet that can help people with MS to live their best lives, and the exact cause of MS so that it may be prevented for future generations. To learn more about multiple sclerosis, connect with others to drive research for a cure, and to address the challenges of everyone affected by MS, visit nationalmssociety.org or call 1-800-344-4867.